Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video we established that the voltage provided by the battery is equal to the EMF of the battery times this ratio which depends on the relative size of the resistance of the circuit and the internal resistance of the battery. We also established that the current through the circuit was equal to the EMF of the battery divided by the total resistance made up of the resistance of the circuit plus the internal resistance of the battery. Now the question is, what happens when the resistance of the circuit becomes much, much larger compared to the resistance, of the internal resistance of the battery? Well, one way to establish that is to let R become really small. In the limit, as R goes to zero, when it becomes insignificant, what happens to the voltage relative to the EMF and what happens to the current in the circuit? So we're going to take the limit as R goes to zero. We're talking about the internal resistance of the battery. So that's in effect making the resistance of the circuit much, much larger than the resistance of the, the internal resistance of the battery. So this then becomes the limit as R goes to zero of the equation EMF, EMF, oh, I'm messing up here, EMF times R divided by R plus little r. And then you can see, since V is going to be equal to that, under the circumstance when R, the resistance of the circuit, is much larger than the resistance of the internal resistance of the battery, then we can see that the V is equal to EMF times R divided by R plus zero, which of course is equal to one, and you can see then V becomes equal to the EMF. So again, when the internal resistance becomes insignificant compared to the resistance of the circuit, in all practical purposes, we can say that the voltage provided by the battery equals the EMF of the battery. What about the current? Again, let's take the limit of the current as R approaches zero. And I'm again talking about the internal resistance of the battery. So this is equal to the limit as R goes to zero of the EMF divided by the resistance of the circuit plus the internal resistance of the battery. So then we just set this equal to zero. This becomes the EMF divided by the resistance. That would be the current. And in that case, we could say that I is also equal to V over R because the EMF then becomes essentially the same as the voltage provided by the battery. And then we simply can equate the two to one another. So what we're saying here is, if the internal resistance is really small compared to the resistance of the circuit, we can basically ignore the internal resistance and the voltage provided by the battery essentially then becomes the EMF of the battery. Now in the next video, we're going to swap. We're going to say, well, what if the internal resistance becomes very large relative to the resistance of the circuit? What happens then? So let's stay tuned and see what happens on the next video.